A recent study has shown that we Indians are preferring to eat outside now more than ever. And we have a quite big craving for fast foods. Burger and pizza are one of our go-to food for comfort. We have a decent population who likes to eat outside and our dining out culture isn't dialing down. So the opportunity for investors to take a bite at one of the fastest growing segment in India is immense. With that said, let's check out Burger King India. Listed by the name Restaurant Brands Asia Limited. The company is one of the leading QSR brand in India. Is it worth investing? Let's check out. Business Introduction Burger King India Limited is Indian franchise for multinational quick service restaurant that is QSR brand Burger King. It began operation in India in 2014 and has since expanded to over 290 locations across major cities. As a master franchise, the firm has exclusive right to develop, build, manage and franchise Burger King branded locations in India. The organized QSR market is growing at double digit and is projected to grow at over 15% for the next three years, valuing it over $800 billion market. The organized market is at over 54% and Burger King holds quite a good share in it. Fundamental Analysis The company has sufficient capex planned and the ability to raise money for further requirement and service debt obligations. Burger King India sales numbers are really good. Average daily sales are at pre-COVID level with dine-in and delivery sales contribution at an almost equal range. Company's gross profit margin is extremely good. It is at 60% and EBITDA margin stands at 10%. In terms of product category that is burger, BKIL that is Burger King India Limited is comparable to Westlife Developments which is nothing but McDonald's. The revenue and margin profile of Burger King and Westlife Developments are pretty much comparable. However, Burger King revenue and EBITDA growth prospects are much favorable. In addition, Burger King has the right to open franchise all over India unlike Westlife which only has limited number of territories. On valuation front, with the recent stock correction, the company seems much more favorable than its competitors. The company's ability to sustain its recovery growth and improve same level sales growth will remain critical to maintaining liquidity and to turning its loss making business into a profitable one. Technical Analysis Apart from the obvious fuss regarding war, there is one more reason why the stock is in a free fall. It is because of the company's Indonesia brand purchase. Technically speaking, the stock is in a free fall since August last year and breached the 200 day moving average at the beginning of the year 2022. But I can see the trend reversal and we may get to see the stock back on track, especially the case if US Russia war worries are resolved. SWOT risk analysis opportunity and strength. Number one, Burger King India is the sole beneficiary in regards to its franchise for it can open brand locations all around India. Number two, the company has shown tremendous growth in its earnings. Margin is also improving. Just a matter of days for the company to become net positive. Number three, QSR is a money pit. It consumes a lot of money to run and Burger King has timely and efficiently demonstrated its ability to raise money. Weakness and Threat Number 1. QSR business is, as already said, a cash consuming machine. They take a lot of money to run the business's day-to-day -day activities. Add low margin to the picture and you are looking at one of the worst business to be in. Number 2. The company has been losing money since its inception in India. Good top line margin but lousy bottom line. Number 3. Stiff competition from organized and unorganized market. Conclusion Since financial year 2014-15, India's food service market has been steadily growing and was predicted to be worth a little over 4 lakh crore 
by the financial year 1920. During the next five years, the market is predicted to grow at a CAGR of 9%, reaching at least 6.5 lakh crore by financial year 24-25. And it's the organized sector, mainly the QSR brands such as Burger King and McDonald's and such that are leading the market. Because over the years, the shift from the unorganized market dominance to the organized market is very, very visible. With that said, Burger King is in the right spot to take on the market. I'll give 7 out of 10 for the company. Would have given higher rating had it turned net positive by now. I have invested in the company for the long term. That's our brief on Burger King. Thank you for watching.